All right, we're here again with something new. This is a new Blue Eddy battery, brand new, like not just manufacturer, but this is a new model Blue Eddy battery. They're calling this the B300K. Uh, we have the B300, the B300S, and now the B300K. I don't know if that means anything to the lineup or if this is just uh, a net add, but uh, it's lighter, it's a little smaller capacity, uh, and it's a little physically smaller. Uh, let's get it out of the box, but uh, first I, I, I left it like this to show, again, the, the impeccable Blue Eddy packaging. Uh, strapped, corner protectors. Uh, this now has, uh, has uh, grab handles on the side for easy pickup. It is, uh, they do very well. Are you helping? Are you gonna help? Again, Blue Eddy, it's a box within a box. Foam, book, plastic bag. Okay, look at that. That is very different looking. It is a uh, smaller capacity. Let me, uh, let me bring you in here closer. Okay, close up of the B300K here. It is, uh, it's a different color. It's got a different button. It has one output on it. It's quite a bit shorter. It is uh, 8.2 inches, eight and a quarter inches tall versus the B300 and B300S are 10 and a half inches tall. It weighs 15 pounds less, uh, 64 pounds versus 80 pounds. And it is a little smaller capacity, 2,764 watt hours versus 3,072. This works with the uh, AC200 Max, the uh, 200L, the AC300, and the AC500, all the same machines that the B300 works on. Uh, let me get this downstairs. Okay, here it is, the B300K, brand new. Uh, notice there's some significant differences. Look how short that is. That is eight and a quarter inches high. It looks like a baby compared to the AC300 that it sits on. Also notice the color difference. And we have one output port on it, just a little single USB-A. Let's move around to the side. So yeah, look at that color difference now that the sun's coming out. And let's look around, what do we have for ports? So here, the uh, P090D standard expansion ports on the AC300. Notice the flat is at the top, the button is at the top. Look at this guy. The flat is on the left, so the button is over here. Look at the other one. The flat is on the right, so the, the buttons face each other. Uh, that could be a good thing for uh, accidentally dis disconnecting. Let's continue around. So here's the back. Label, absolutely nothing else. Right side, nothing else. Notice there's a vent. Let's go back around here. Look, ventilation. And it's hard to see with the sun, but there's ventilation. This, the B300K, this battery has a fan in it. Let's, uh, let's plug in the expansion cable here and see what that looks like. So over here, it's button on the inside. Firm. And locked. And then if you were to daisy chain these, you would have, the other one would be button on the inside just the same. Very interesting. Let me plug it in to the AC300. This cable has never been plugged in before. It is firm. Let's see if we power on. See the power light on the battery. 
Looks like we are nearly full. Eh, light. Anyway, it works with the B300. You're next, AC200L. Okay, let me clear this stuff off and we'll see what she looks like with the 200L sitting on top. All right, here's what the B300K looks like with a AC200L connected to it. Where's the screen on the 200L, you might say? Well, it's on the other side because the 200L and the AC300 have their connectors on different sides. So it needs to be reversed or it needs to sit side saddle on any expansion battery that it's connected to. Well, the, the B300 series, the B300K, the B300, the B300S. They all have their expansion on the same side as the AC300 and AC500. And the AC200L has its expansion on the same side as the AC200 Max. It's right, our left. So they are reversed. But uh, we are connected. It might be difficult to see. You can't see. But we are connected. It sees it. It is alive. All right, so I was just getting ready to record a uh, full load or nearly full load discharge test. And I noticed I did notice when I did the walk around outside, there are fastener holes in the back for attaching this thing to something. Uh, only on the back, not on the bottom. They are M5. These screws fit fine. Okay, back to the show. Okay, welcome back. We are back indoors with the new Blue Eddy. B300K. Just look how short that is. I know, I know I'm blocking the view, but my B300s are down here, and they are fully that much taller. Uh, maybe when this is done, I'll reconfigure and stack them, uh, stack this with the AC500 so we can see the difference up close. Uh, but I've got it connected to the AC300. It's been powered on in standard UPS mode for 24 hours, uh, making sure that we are well and truly nicely top balanced here. Uh, I actually charged this from the AC500 and now we're going to do a, a reasonably full load discharge test back the other direction. Uh, just shows you what these things are capable of. So uh, I have it currently connected to the AC500. I will disconnect that so it is now loss of loss of grid. Back. I have the AC500 set to uh, draw 24 amps, which should be just a hair under 3,000 watts. Uh, at 25 amps, it, it, it bumps over 3,000, uh, you know, 3,050, 3,080. I don't, I don't want to trip this thing out on uh, its overload timer. I want to make sure that we run the full duration and we can uh, test, test the B300K at what it will do. So. Uh, the AC500 is set to standard UPS. It has room in the in the B300s to, to take this. And so I've got a TT30 adapter on its input cord here. We'll plug that up. We will do a little strain relief. Uh, inverter is off. We are 100%. I will turn the inverter on. I just heard the AC500 click. We are now drawing grid power. It says it's taking 2810. The AC300 says it is giving 2913. All right. So we will watch. This should take uh, a little less than an hour. Here's a little close up of the discharge side. AC 300 and here's the charge side. Notice the AC 500 is taking that from the AC 300. It is still powering my house and it is still taking solar for 
from uh, for the day. It's we're well well past. It's 5 p.m. here, so we're only getting a little bit, but still, it's doing it all at once. B 300K. Okay, that is uh, that is the end. I just happened to catch it. So uh, we are done. This thing is uh, the B three hundred K is well and truly empty. Um, okay, bat drained. Yes, of course it is. Uh, so the the B three hundred K full load discharge, um, just under an hour as anticipated, uh, about three thousand watts. Uh, the cable does get a little warm at, at that discharge rate. That is, that is a, very nearly its full rate of discharge rate, but the cables are designed to get warm. It's not hot, it's just a little warm to the touch. Uh, the fan did kick on, I'm pleased to report that. Uh, it, it is just slightly warm to the touch at the top of the case, nothing here. Uh, we're in my basement, it's quite cool down here. Uh, I could not hear the fan, I had to listen very carefully to hear the fan over the sound of the fan on the AC300. Uh, I actually got this thing up to its high fan speed, which is a rarity. Uh, and I, I will tell you that the airflow on the AC300 goes that direction. And I found out that the airflow from the built-in fan on the B300K goes in the same direction. So that's a very good thing. Uh, the AC500, its fan also goes that direction. So we have all the heat going the same direction, which is which is fantastic. Um, I took a bunch of pictures. Hopefully you watched the little slideshow during the discharge. Um, I, again, I just sat down. I don't have a metering on here, but I do have Home Assistant configured and monitoring the AC500. So I'll pull up uh, some screenshots of that and we'll see if we can get an accurate measurement of what, oh, well, we don't need this anymore. We can get an accurate measurement of what was delivered uh, from the B300K through the AC300 into the AC500. Um, I, I'm anticipating that we're going to get maybe 80% or so. So the B300K is 2,764 watt hours. Uh, I'm going to guess uh, maybe 22 or 2,300 watt hours uh, delivered, which would be a pretty good number given the chemical to, electric chemical to electricity conversion here and then conversion over there to what it will report to home assistant as the power it took in oh okay that was the ac whew. okay the ac 500 is uh 65 pounds um i just raised it up a, a little bit higher so uh, welcome back again. Uh, we did the load load testing with the AC300 and the B300K over there. I charged it up most of the way. Um, I just I just did this live. I didn't shut anything down. I uh, pulled the AC300 or AC500 off of here, put it on this bucket I'm sitting on, and then uh, put the B300K on top of my two existing B300s and uh, put the AC500 back on top. So we're going to uh, power it up. We're gonna add it to the stack and see what we get. Uh, I'm going to do this live just because you can. I, uh, I don't think it's suggested, but I have done it in the past and it works. Uh, you have to start with your new battery being turned off. So uh, I, already have, I already have a cord and I'm going to plug it into the B300K. Plug it in, lock it. Nothing happens. It's still off. Press and hold. I just heard the little fan in it kick on. Let's go to the battery menu in the AC500 here. There it is. Battery three just showed up. It says it is 87% and charging. 
Battery 1 is 75, battery 2 is 67, and battery 3, the B300K, is 87. And uh, it's a beautiful sunny day out. I, uh, it's 1550 watts right now outside. Um, let's review the, uh, I'll put this, I'll put, uh, where did I put my notes? I'm sitting on my notes. Uh, let's review the uh, full load discharge test on the B300K. What did I get out of it? Uh, so up, up here uh, is a screenshot I took from Home Assistant where I benchmarked it through the, the AC500. So we ended the test at 465.78 kilowatt hours on my accumulated energy meter. Uh, we started at 463.41. So that means we gained 2.37 kilowatt hours uh, from the uh, B300K. So that's 2,370 watt hours divided by 2,764.8, which is what it says on the front right here. That is 85.7% of uh, nameplate capacity that we got into the AC500. And that counts the conversion loss of... of uh, of the B300K, if it has any. Uh, that counts the conversion loss of the AC300. So this is actual delivered capacity, 85.7%. I think that's pretty good. That's on par with anything else you'll find. Um, let, let's also just look at, look at this. So uh, AC500, B300K, uh, this is 8.23 inches tall. The B300 is 10 and a half inches tall. So this is a uh, two and a quarter inches difference in height. And it looks like it's the same left to right. I think the spec on the B300K is, it is, is that it is slightly longer, a, a decimal inch longer, and it is uh, ever so slightly wider. But the, uh, the AC500 and the uh, AC300 both sit on top of it very nicely. It stacks in the appropriate manner. I think I have that on there square. Yeah, I mean, it, it grabs it appropriately. So uh, we're gonna let it live here for a little bit and I will come up with some more tests to do with the B300K soon. Uh, maybe with the 200L. We'll find out. Thanks for watching.